Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's video I am very excited about. It was inspired by one of you. I got a comment a month or two ago on my video where I shared the makeup that I would repurchase if I lost everything. And one of you, Helen, thank you so much for this video idea that you asked if I could do a drugstore version. So a desert island drugstore video. So everything I am mentioning in today's video is obviously from the drugstore, but these are not things that I feel the least bit unsure about. So these are 100%. I love them. They are top notch, as good, if not better than high end makeup. And I would buy them if I lost everything. Drugstore edition. So point of view is we are on a desert island. I have no makeup. I'm going to go buy some, but I can only buy drugstore. These are the things we're going to talk about today. This is not all the drugstore makeup that I like. This is drugstore makeup that I love, that I think is worthy of making it into this video. So I hope you enjoy it. If you're new here, my name is Blair. I do all kinds of beauty and makeup content here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you'll stick around and subscribe, and let's get started. All right, I'm gonna go category by category, kind of in the order that I typically apply makeup. So the first thing I want to talk about is SPF. If I had to go buy an SPF, I didn't own any, which wouldn't happen because I own many SPFs and I try tons of them all the time, but my absolute favorite, and this is true whether I was talking about drugstore makeup or not, my favorite SPF right now hands down is this one beauty of Joseon sun relief rice and probiotics SPF 50 I have tried so many you guys I've tried I mean I've tried the new Neutrogena mineral sunscreen I've tried the Kosas I've tried dermatology I've tried polish choice I've tried so many sunscreens and this is my favorite I never have an issue with this under makeup, which is probably my number one thing for sunscreen. I do not want to have an issue with makeup, period. And I don't want this. It is not tinted, but honestly, I don't typically love to wear tinted sunscreen under like a full face of makeup anyway. I prefer non tinted sunscreens for that. I save tinted ones more for minimal makeup or no makeup days. So I had to start the video out with this because you can't buy this at a drugstore, but the price point is drugstore. So hands down, best SPF I will always, always, always buy again is this one. Moving on to primer, I have two products to share. These may or may not surprise you. They are both from e.l.f. I have definitely been in a primer journey for about a year now. I've tried a bunch of them. I would go out and buy the Power Grip from e.l.f. 100% because this helps keep my makeup on. It doesn't do a lot in terms of adding moisture or adding luminosity or blurring my skin, but at the end of the day, one of the most important things, especially if you're going to be on a desert island, would be to keep the makeup on your face. And that's what this does for me. This is the tackiest, stickiest, but in a good way, primer I've tried from the drugstore. I would absolutely go buy this. This is the original version. This is what I use today. I also have the niacinamide version. I like them both. But if I want my makeup to stay on my face, I would 100% go out and buy this, as well as one of these from e.l.f., the Halo Glow liquid filter. So this is probably not a shock. This would probably make its way in most people's drugstore favorites, I would assume. This is so good, you guys. It is glowy, but it, it actually has a little bit of pigment in it. So you don't just get glow with this. You also get just a little bit of... I don't want to say coverage because it's not a foundation, but you do get just a little bit of color with this in addition to the glow. And today I actually used a darker shade. I used shade four as primer, 
over the top of the power grip. And the reason I did that was because the foundation we're gonna talk about is just a little light for me right now. So I use this as a base to kind of add a little bit of color. This gives me glow, this keeps makeup on my face. These are the two I would buy. Moving on to corrector. There were a few I thought about for this category, but the one that I knew was gonna make it in this video, and it's the only one I wanna talk about, is this one from Pixie, the Pixie by Petra Correction Concentrate in Brightening Peach. If you have dark circles similar to mine, pretty deep and dark, you wanna cover them up, you want something on the affordable side, this is about as good as you can get, in my opinion, from the drugstore. This color is perfection, this is a peach, color but it's not too orangey which is my number one pet peeve when the colors are a little too orange this one is not it has a little bit of peach a little bit of that pinky undertone in there too it the coverage on this is fantastic it is the closest thing to the bobby brown corrector the og in the compact which is my all-time favorite it has been for years this is the closest thing. It is almost identical. I found the best way to apply this is actually with your finger. I am typically a brush girl with makeup, but with this formula in particular, it works the best if you just get your finger in there and really warm up the product. So really get it in there, get it nice and warm on your finger and tap it in with your ring finger. That will give you the best application. You will keep the pigment, which will help you in terms of the coverage. The only thing about it is it only comes, I think it comes in two shades. I've only ever seen this one, the brightening peach color. I wish they would expand the shades, so that is obviously not the best. But if the color works for you and you have pretty dark discoloration under your eyes, you cannot do better than this. I would 100% go out and buy this immediately. Moving on to foundation. There are some drugstore foundations, skin tints that I love, but this again was a pretty easy choice for me. If you know me, then you probably know the answer to this. This is the one I would go out and buy immediately, the Revlon Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation. So I wear the shade 117, which is a good match for me. I just have a little bit of color right now, so that's why I had the e.l.f. in shade number four underneath this. But this has been a standout for me from the first time that I tried it. It has a good bit of skincare in it as well, so it has 5% squalane and hyaluronic acid in it. It is not a full coverage. It is a light to medium at the most coverage if you build it up, but it just makes your skin look healthy. If you have mature skin, I especially think you would like this. It's easy to apply, it just blends right into your skin. You can build it up a little bit, but again, if you're looking for full coverage, this is not gonna be the one for you. It is a little bit glowy, so I do find I like to use powder when I use this one, but in my opinion, this is one of the best drugstore foundations that's been released in quite a while. I think it's phenomenal. I think Revlon did amazing with this. I love that it has a pump. I, I can't say enough good things about it. I know a lot of you have bought this because of me, and you tell me that you like it as well, so if you haven't tried it and you want something, especially for um, drier skin, I think you will love this. If you have oily skin, I think you can get away with using this. You just do need to powder and probably prime your skin. So use whatever normally works for you in terms of priming and setting and you will be fine. But it is a little bit on the glowy side. So just heads up on that. I would run to the nearest Target, Walmart, CVS, wherever, and buy this 100%. For concealer, again, this is a pretty easy choice. Nothing has been able to top this one since I tried it. I've had a few that have come close, but this is still the one. This is still the one, you guys. The NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealer. I did a review on this uh, probably close to two years ago now when this first came out and I loved it 
immediately. I still love it. I think this is the best drugstore concealer that I've tried hands down. It is very um, thin in consistency, spreads very easy, and what I'll say about this is not only is this great as under eye concealer, but this is great just all over your face as complexion product. I have done this many times where I take this and just put it over something glowy like the e.l.f. Halo Glow, whatever it is, and just spot treat with this, and it is beautiful. It's very hydrating. A little bit goes a long way. It is that serum -y texture, so it spreads quite a bit. It gives, I would say, a medium buildable coverage. I don't know that you're going to get a full, full coverage from this, but you can get quite a bit. For such a thin formula, it's very pigmented. So like I said, a little goes a long way. You do not need a lot. It's beautiful under your eyes, all over your face. Love it. Would 100% go out and buy this right away. For powder, this was also pretty easy. This is such it's so good. It's so good. It's very affordable and it's fantastic. The Maybelline Fit Me Powder in translucent, but they also make it in shades if you want one that matches your skin tone. They have that as well. I just use the uh, translucent one. This, you guys, is honestly comparable to like the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder in terms of smoothing and mattifying your skin. This is fantastic. This is what I have all in my T-zone today because that um, foundation from Revlon is pretty glowy. And then I did have the e.l.f. Halo Glow underneath it. So my skin was pretty glowy. I put this on in my T-zone and it just tones down the shine, mattifies, smooths your face. I even put a little bit of this um, right here under my eyes. I don't always powder under my eyes, but I can actually get away with this one under my eyes as well. So hands down, I've tried a lot of powders from the drugstore, but this is the one I would go out and buy 100%. It also comes in a loose version. I have not tried the loose one, so I can't speak to that, but the compact, if you need something to set, mattify, blur your skin, this is it. Moving on to blushes. I picked a cream and a powder. I tried to just pick one, but you know me and blush. I would always go out and buy at least two if I didn't have any. So the cream formula, this might be a shock. I don't know, but I picked the Essence Baby Got Blush Blush Sticks. I got this one first. This one is my favorite. It's the shade Tickle Me Pink, and this is just that really beautiful, light baby doll pink. This is a pretty sheer formula, so it's not one that you have to worry about really overdoing it. You can really build it up if you want, but you can also just get a very sheer application on your cheeks. It is really great. I did not think this is going to be something that I loved when I bought it, but I really enjoy it. The only thing about this is it does have a smell. It smells like watermelon. It smells good, but it does have that scent to it, which is not my favorite. But other than that, in terms of how it looks and how it performs on my skin, I love it. I also have the shade Rosé All Day. This one is a good bit darker. Today I just have on Tickle Me Pink, but this one is pretty too if you have a deeper skin tone. I love them both. I think there's a third shade. I'm not sure. I think it's more of like an orangey, peachy color. And then for the powder blush, there were a few here, but the one I always go back to, and this has made its way in many of my videos. It was in my top blushes video I did a few months ago. It's just perfect. I love it so much. But again, from Maybelline, the Fit Me blushes. I only have this one, which is the shade 20 mauve. It's not, honestly, not really that mauve to me. I guess maybe it has a little bit of like a lilac undertone to it, but this is what I have on today paired with Tickle Me Pink from Essence. Again, this is kind of a similar type formula in terms of how it looks 
to that cream blush from Essence. These are not super intense pigment. They are more buildable, more of a satin formula. And this one is just a very uh, unique color. It is pink, but I guess the reason they call it mauve is it does have just the slightest bit of a purple undertone. It's beautiful and it is such a great topper blush. So honestly, you can put this on over really any cream blush and it's beautiful. You don't have to worry about it being too much because it is that really sheer satin formula. I love it. it they have a bunch of different colors in these. I need to get another color. This is just the only one that I have. This is very comparable to Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Sublime Flush, which is another one of my favorites. I have it. This gives a very similar effect in uh, a drugstore version, which is amazing. So this and this, I would have to go buy. Moving on to bronzer, I did the same. I picked a powder and a cream. For the cream, this again was pretty easy. Most of these choices, I knew they were the right ones because I didn't really have to think about it very much. My favorite drugstore cream bronzer is this one. Makeup Revolution Cream Bronzer in the shade Light. This is, I remember when I tried this, I loved it right away. It's one of the best formulas in a cream from the drugstore I've tried ever. It is very thin and uh, kind of a balmy texture, but it has pigment, you guys. You do not need a lot of this. I'm telling you, like one swipe and you get a lot of color. And the formula is so thin and creamy, it really spreads. So that's the one thing. You have to kind of apply it sparingly unless you're wanting like a very intense bronze look to your skin. It packs a punch with pigment. Think Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer, but way more pigment. The formula is very similar to that, but Makeup by Mario is sheer. This one packs a major punch, but it is beautiful. The color is stunning. If you're around my skin tone, this color is really beautiful. It's I would say a neutral color. So good, you just have to apply it sparingly. And then believe it or not, for bronzer, this is actually not a bronzer, but I use it as one. And I have bronzers from the drugstore that I like, but the one that I reach for the most is this. Again, Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder, but in a bronze shade. So the one that I wear is 320 Natural tan. So I do have this on over this today. This, you guys, I guess maybe it's because it's formulated like a face powder. It is so smoothing and just blurring on your skin. It goes so well over your skin in general, but especially on top of a cream. This just glides on. And this color is such a perfect pair with this from Revolution, I'm telling you, if you're around my skin tone, 320 natural tan, this is a game changer, I'm telling you. It's better to me than an actual bronzer. I know it sounds kind of crazy. There are so many great drugstore bronzers, but honestly, this is the one. If I had to go buy just one, it would be this. And I think it's just because, like I said, it's actually a face powder, so you get the color, of a bronzer, but the wear and the application of a complexion product, all in one. So for bronzer, I'd have to go buy these. All right, moving on to brows. Brow pencil, always L'Oreal. Brow stylist definer in ash brown. I have been through different phases with drugstore brow pencils, but the one that I just keep going back to right now is this one. So I would absolutely go buy the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. It is just a perfect pencil. It is waxy, so it's not too creamy that it moves all around in your brows, but it's not so waxy that it's difficult to apply and get the pigment. It's perfect. I love it so much. It has a spoolie on one end. 
I can always do my brows with this. So this is definitely the one I would go out and buy. I would also go buy the e.l.f. Brow Lift. I do not have that currently. I used mine up and I haven't bought a new one. But the e.l.f. Brow Lift, just to keep your brows in place all day, that's a great product. It's I think it's 5 or $6. And you can get that really laminated brow, fluffy brow that is so popular. If I was not wanting that, I would also buy e.l.f. Wow Brow. So e.l.f. Wow Brow is not, it's not gonna laminate your brows. It's just gonna add a little bit of thickness and color. With the brow lift, I would really um, adhere my brows to my face and then fill them in with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. So brows for me would be pretty easy. Those would be the three products I would go buy. If I only wanted to buy two of them, I would buy the Brow Stylist Definer and the brow lift to keep my brows in place and then to fill them in. All right, let's talk about eyeshadow. I really narrowed it down here. Honestly, there were, there were a few that I was kind of thinking about, but I settled on these two things. I couldn't pick just one because they kind of serve different purposes. So we'll start with what's on my eyes today. And you guys, when I tried this for the first time, I was blown away by it. I used it again today and I am yet again blown away by the quality here. This palette from LA Girl, the Four Play Eyeshadow Quad in the shade Seduce. The quality on this, you guys, is insane. Insane. This is Natasha Denona look. I mean, look at my eyes. That This is all I have on my eyes today, these four colors. And I am telling you, these mattes blend beautifully. They are not patchy. They are not difficult to apply at all. They are pigmented. I'm telling you, this crease color right here, so good. I have this in my crease. I have a little bit of this bronzy color in the center of my lid and kind of tap to the outer corner. I have this dark kind of I think it's actually a dark brown. It's like a gray brown. Have this in my outer corner, and then I took this beautiful gold topper and I put that kind of in this uh, inner corner of my lid all the way up. These are fantastic. I'm telling you, if you have not tried these, this, if you need a quick go-to affordable drugstore palette to give you like a vent type makeup. This is not like an everyday palette. That's what I'm going to mention in a minute. But this is more of like you're doing your makeup. You want very glam look on your eyes. These. I also love this one. I didn't use this one today, but the cowgirl color with all the greens in it. The greens and this really beautiful like yellowy mustardy brown. I've used this in a video before, but Honestly, any of these from LA Girl, you cannot go wrong. They are perfection. Love these. I would absolutely go out and buy at least one of them, maybe two. And then the other thing that I will never be without, I would go buy this in a heartbeat if I lost all my money or if I lost all my makeup. This little quad from Essence. You've heard me talk about this many, many times, but the Essence, nothing compares to nude. This is the perfect everyday palette. This is, you still get some shimmers in here, these shades here, but these are just a much softer look. The LA Girls are very glam, in your face kind of eyeshadows, which is good for that type of makeup. But just for like everyday, just throw it on your eyes. This is it. You get a cream shade you can put all over. You get a matte brown you can put all over your eye and then you can use any of these metallics on your lid. You can use this dark one in the outer corner. You can use it as liner which is what I do a lot of the time and it's perfect. It has a mirror. I will never ever 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 not have one of these in my collection. So if I didn't have anything, I'd go buy one of each. This for every day and this for more glam event type makeup. I almost skipped eyeliner because eyeliner is not something I apply on a daily basis, but I did use this liner today and it's my favorite 
from the drugstore if I'm using it. The Physician's Formula, I always forget the name of it, Ultra Fine Liquid Eyeliner. So I do have this on today uh, to make these little wings that I have. This is the best drugstore liquid liner that I've tried by far. I have the brown one. It comes in black as well. It has a really fine tip on it. So you can see it's very small, very precise, which is really nice. But this one does not dry out. You know how sometimes with liquid liners you run into they get dry on the tip and you have to constantly like try to get the product on the felt tip? Not this one. This one is there all the time. It's easy. It doesn't skip. doesn't bleed. It's just the easiest to apply that I found. So I don't wear this on a daily basis, but if I didn't have any eyeliner and I was going to buy one from the drugstore, it would be this one. And then for mascara, if you know me, you know what I chose here. This, again, was not a difficult choice for me. I will always run Sprint as fast as I can to get one of these if I don't have one, the e.l.f. Lash & Roll Mascara in brown. They also have black. I prefer brown. I used brown today. I probably could have gone black because I have um, more eye makeup on than I normally do, but I still wore the brown and this is perfection. It is an exact dupe. I don't care. I will fight somebody on it. This is Benefit Roller Lash for six dollars the wand is exactly the same exactly the same it's slightly curved i love it this separates it lengthens doesn't add a ton of volume but for me personally on a daily basis i usually look more for separation and length in my mascara it does not smudge it is not difficult to remove at night i am the biggest Elf Lash and Roll fan. I, like I said, I would sprint to get one of these. In fact, here I have two sitting here. I have another new one over there. I'm not messing around with this one. This would be the one I would go out and buy. I don't need anything else. And last for the lips, I have a few things here. I couldn't pick just one thing. For a lip liner, again, I had a few choices, but the one I settled on that I just love the absolute most, if I had to go out and buy it, are these. The Essence 8 Hour Comfort Matte Lip Liners. I have three of them. Today I used two of them. I used this color first, which is Cinnamon Spice. I lined my lips with this one. That color is more, it's a nude, kind of a brownie nude. So I outlined or lined my lips with that. Then I took shade Rosy Nude and I kind of filled in the corners with this. What impresses me the most about these is they aren't kidding when they say they last eight hours. They really do. You can eat, drink, do whatever. I'm telling you, these Essence lip liners, I don't know why, but they last. They just do. And they are matte, but they are creamy at the same time. They're very comfortable to apply. I love that they just twist up so you don't have to have a sharpener or anything. Honestly, I want all the colors at this point because I just, I'll always have these in my collection. I will go out and buy that. And then what I have on top of that today is this from NYX. This is a pretty new product to me, but it's already making it in this video because I have worn this so much already. It's my favorite lip oil type product from the drugstore that I've tried. The NYX Lip Drip Fat Oil in Miss Call is what I have on over the lip liner today. These are, I keep saying they're not glossy. They are glossy, but they're not quite as glossy as some lip oils that you see. They are Similar in texture, in my opinion, to the Dior lip oils, but they're not as sticky. The Dior lip oils, to me, are kind of sticky. They smell amazing. I love this so, so much. I will always have one of these now that I've tried them. In fact, I really want to get another color in this. Hands down, would go out and buy one of those. And then the last thing um, that I would go out and buy, I don't have this on today because I liked... The lips like they are but lipstick by far from the drugstore is this one elf 
O-Face Satin Lipstick in the shade Dirty Talk. This, from the packaging to the formula, this is, it screams high end, even though it's not. It's from e.l.f. Dirty Talk is the perfect rosy, kind of mauve nude. It is almost identical to Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. These are, I would say, they're not matte. They're not super like glossy or anything. They're a satin formula. Duh, Blair, I think that's what it says in the name. But that's exactly how I would describe them. They are comfortable. They are very pigmented. They come in a bunch of different colors. Even the packaging is beautiful. It's magnetic. Elf killed it with this one. So those would be the lip products I would run out and buy. One more thing I wanted to throw in at the end of the video that I would absolutely go out and buy again is this foundation brush from NYX. The Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation brush. Again, this is a pretty new product to me, but this is quickly becoming one of my favorite brushes. I used it today to apply the Revlon foundation. This, I believe, is like $14.99 maybe. This is a great brush. It is pretty dense, so you can get a good bit of coverage from your products. It's angled slightly, so you can really get it on there and tap in your products on your face. You can also use something like this for cream bronzer, cream blush. You could use it for concealer if you want under your eyes. I don't use a ton of drugstore brushes, but this one is fantastic. And in general, I would say if I was going out to buy brushes from the drugstore, I would buy Real Techniques. Those brushes that I've tried in the past are really great. I like the Expert Face Brush. That one is great. I like the Big Powder Brush from them. I like the Blush Brush. So if I was buying brushes from the drugstore, I would buy Real Techniques and this one from NYX. All right, you guys, that is everything that I would run out and buy if I was stranded on a desert island. I had no makeup and I could only buy drugstore makeup. These are the things I would 100% buy. Thank you so much to Helen for this video idea. I hope this was enjoyable for you. I know I try to talk about a mix of products on my channel. I love high-end makeup so much, but I love drugstore as well, and I always want to have a variety of products here on my channel, so I hope this was enjoyable for you. Honestly, there were a lot of things I thought about mentioning in this video, and then I just was like, no, I'm only talking about the things that I love so, 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 so much that I would not think twice go out and buy them. So that's what I included in this video. So these are my top, top drugstore makeup favorites. I hope you enjoyed it. I will have everything listed below for you as always. They are affiliate links, so I do make a small commission if you shop through them. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram at simply.blair and TikTok simply.blair1. And I will see you next time. Remember, simply be you. Bye.